In this video, we're going to discuss a few of the features of the Weathermatic T3 rotor, show you how to change out a nozzle, and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse Product Specialist. Let's get started. This is the Weathermatic T3 rotor. The pop-up height on this rotor is 4 inches, and it has a 3 quarter inch inlet here on the bottom. It has an adjustable arc from 40 to 360 degrees. And it has presets of 90, 180, 270, and 360 degrees. The T3 comes standard with the check valve. Check valves prevent low head drainage. That is, when a zone of your irrigation system has a slope, a check valve prevents water draining from your system out through the lowest sprinkler head once the zone shuts off. The check valve in a T3 rotor will work with up to 12 feet of elevation difference. On the T3, you can adjust the arc, also called the pattern, without any tools. This is much easier to do while the rotor is running. But if the rotor isn't running, use the rotor tool to pull up on the riser. Now, the retraction spring on this rotor is fairly strong. If you can hold the riser up with your hand, that will work. Or if you find it difficult to hold the riser up, you can do it this way. Unscrew the rotor. Pull out the assembly and push down on this collar. Now there's this rib section here. If you look, you'll see symbols for quarter, half, three quarter, and full. While holding the ring, turn the top of the rotor until the arrow points to the pattern that you want, including any point in between the patterns. The T3 has a watering distance between 23 and 61 feet, depending on how the adjustment screw is set and the installed nozzle. This rotor comes with this set of nozzles. You'll need a rotor tool like this one to change out a nozzle. Looking at the top of the rotor, this is the pull-up slot right here. Use the plastic end of the rotor tool to pull up the riser. This little triangle right here is the radius adjustment slot. You have to pierce the membrane with the metal end of this rotor tool to access it. The screw down in there adjusts your watering distance and holds your nozzle in place. Now let's head outside so we can show you the basic adjustments. Let's change out a nozzle. Insert the rotor tool here in the lifting socket, twist, and pull up the riser. I'm using a Weathermatic nozzle insert collar to hold the riser up. Insert the metal end of the tool in the race adjustment slot to back out the screw. Use the needle nose pliers to pull out the nozzle. Insert the new nozzle with ears up into the nozzle opening. Push it all the way into the rotor at a slight downward angle. And use the rotor tool to thread back down the race adjustment screw, making sure it goes down in between the plastic guide walls. Don't screw the little screw down too far or back it out too far or you'll be looking for a teeny tiny little screw in the grass. Let the riser back down. And turn on the water. Use the radius adjustment screw to set your watering distance. You want the water to reach the next rotor over. Even if you do want the maximum watering distance, still have the screw down far enough to diffuse the stream of water. So here's how to set the arc while the rotor is watering. Hold the ribbed collar with one hand and then use your other hand to rotate the top of the riser so that the arrow points down at the appropriate pattern. Order your Weathermatic T3 rotors on sprinklerwarehouse.com today. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com they really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.